morning everyone. I just want to begin with a scripture for you all. Uh, in Isaiah chapter 49 verse 16 says, See, I have scribed you on the palm of my hand. Your world are continually before me. Yes, he will never leave us. Hallelujah. He will never forget us. Yes, Jesus. Let's all together, we will worship together. His name, we'll praise his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all prepare and let's come together. We will worship him. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. He is good. He's above all things, His love endures forever. Sing praise, sing praise. With a mighty hand, with a mighty hand, and I'll stretch out. His love endures forever. For the life that's been reborn, His love forever sing praise sing praise sing praise sing praise sing praise forever God is faithful forever God is strong forever Forever God is faithful Forever 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Forever God is faithful. Forever God is with us. And forever, hallelujah. Forever and forever you are with us, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. आपका प्रेम हमें खींचता है परमेश्वर हाल लुया 
आपको छूने का मन करता है परमेश्वर आपकी अच्छाइयों को देखने का मन करता है परमेश्वर क्योंकि आप अच्छे हैं आप अच्छे हैं सबसे अद्भुत है हाल लुया हाल लुया और हम आप हाथ उठाकर आपकी आराधना करते हैं आपका नाम ऊंचा करते हैं धन्यवाद परमेश्वर हाल लुया हाल लुया we praise your name of father god hallelujah we lift your name of father god hallelujah because you are above all, all things of father god thank you jesus thank you jesus and we everything commit in your hand of father god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus amen hallelujah What a joy and a blessing worshiping the Lord together. Keep worshiping the Lord wherever you are. I would like to welcome for those who have joined us for the first time uh, in our live stream service. Uh, I hope you are all ready for the word of God. So shall we welcome Pastor Johnson for the word of God? Good morning and welcome to the online worship service. The Sunday service. I hope all of you are doing well, and by the grace of God, once again, we are able to see this day. And I uh, you know it's such an honor for me, such a joy for me, to share the word of God, to minister to you. We have been hearing all kind of news throughout the week, and today let's focus our mind, our soul our hearts not to the word of God I hope you are ready for the word of God I want to begin with this verse it's from Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15 and 16 now let me read can the mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born though she may forget I will not forget you see I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Now this was a verse that I picked up, that I received when I was just a new Christian. Now I was far away from home. I was in Chennai. I was just a new Christian, and uh, I I have no idea, you know, about the Bible. I don't know much about the Bible, uh, but uh, I used to have, you know, that time uh, a scripture box that contains. Um, memory uh, promise verses about more than 200 promise verses so every day I will pick up those small pieces uh, you know the uh, <clears throat> promise verse and uh, I used to be very happy every time I picked up those promise verses and on that particular day I was sick and uh, I was not doing really well and uh, but uh, somehow I decided to hear from the Lord and I picked up one of the um, verse and it says you know I will comfort you like a mother comfort you and I was really you know overjoyed surprised that that um, the word you know the Bible used mother and that really comfort comforted me 
because my mother was far away from me. And, uh, but, you know, I said, God, is it really you? Are you really going to comfort me like a mother? You know? Then I said, I need a confirmation. You know? I need a confirmation. So I'm going to pick it up one more time. You know? Not you know, putting back that, uh, the, the promise pass that I picked up. You know? I said, I'm going to pick it up one more. You need to confirm me. I want to, pick the, uh, I want to receive the same one. So when I picked up another one, you know, to my surprise, again I got the same verse. I was really overjoyed. I thank God. Father, thank you for comforting me like a mother, even though I am far away from home. And he, the creator of the universe, you know, he put a question here. You know, can a mother forget you know, her child, her son, or daughter whom she have raised up. Even if she forget, I will not, I cannot forget because I have created you with my own hand. I took time to form you. I knew you before you were formed in your mother home. You know, I cannot forget. And uh, he said, see, see, look, Behold, you know, I have engraved you. I have, you know, engraved you. I have written on my hands or palms so that I will not forget. Every time I look at my hand, I remember you. You know, um, after Jesus rose from the dead, uh, other than Thomas, you know, almost all the disciples, they saw the risen Lord and when they told Thomas we have seen our Lord he was not willing to believe not because you know he is really doubting but you know he, he must have been like you know uh, how can you know uh, our Lord is so partial that you know I, I I'm left out and he, all of you guys are saying that, you know, you guys have seen the Lord. He was very honest. And uh, let me read from here. Mm. John chapter 20 from verse 25 onward. So they told him, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, first I must see the nail scars in his hands and touch them with my finger. I must put my hand hand where the spear went into his side. I won't believe unless I do this. I won't believe unless I do this. I want to see his hand, you know, the wounded hand, the scars. I want to see his side. I want to touch and see. Then I will believe. After eight days, it took eight days. I don't know why God delayed. Why God took, you know, Eight days means the all the, the seven days has passed, and the believers, you know, the disciples, they 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 gathered and they closed the door, fear of the Jews and the Romans, because there were rumors, you know, spread out, you know, saying that the disciple they stole the body of the, uh, Jesus' body, and uh, uh, they were scared. They were in fear. And see, when we fear, that's what we do. We close our doors. And this is what's happening now. You know? We fear the epidemic, the pandemic, that uh, COVID-19. And, uh, but see, uh, Jesus knew very well they were in fear. You know? The closed door do not, could not stop him. The closed door, the, the world could not stop him. He came inside, right in the middle where they, you know, they were gathering, they were sitting. And he said, peace be with you all. And he turns towards Thomas. 
Thomas, look at my hand. Look at my hand. This is so real. See the scars? No. This is where the nail was. No. Uh, uh, this is where you know, the nail was put. See, it is real. I'm not trying to hide my scars. See, God he, uh, doesn't hide the scar. Christianity is not, you know, a kind of like, uh, what do you call, plastic surgery. You know, we try to hide the scars, you know, the pain, you know, that we went through. No. The scars tell a story, your story. Just like our Savior, our Lord Jesus went through that suffering and, you know, just like that, He carries the scar. We also go through that kind of pain. And, you know, the, but the good news is that, you know, He took that pain, the sorrows, the sicknesses, he, the Bible says in the Isaiah, no? he took upon him, he brought those diseases, our sorrows, our pain, and he nailed them. Okay? He, are we supposed to be, are we supposed to have been nailed on that cross? But he was nailed on that cross so that we will be healed. Amen? So, but, you know, uh, we don't have to hide our scars. You know, Jesus is not ashamed to show his scars. You know, we talk so much about that stone being rolled away, you know. But, you know, we try to just, you know, try to cover, I mean, like, something like, um, uh, uh, about, like, the, um, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, we try to tell the people that, you know, Actually, God rolled the stone. Yes, God rolled, but more than that, you know, you can, we can tell also the scars of Jesus, you know. See, He was there on the cross. He took your pain. He took your, uh, you know, sicknesses. It is very real. You know, as I have said, the scars tells your story. You have been in that place. You know, nobody is perfect. And, you know, I'm standing here as a testimony. I went through so many uh, things, pains and uh, uh, heartache, and, you know, sometimes uh, we feel ashamed. But I thank God that God took all my shame, all my pain, all my diseases not upon Him. And today, I can stand as a free man you know heal i'm whole amen i'm forgiven i'm not ashamed to tell my story my testimony you know uh, <clears throat> i was also like thomas very honest you know i have been to church before i come to know the lord uh, many times with my friends or you know and uh, but uh, it was like a religion for me, just another religion, no relationship with God. And I, I have always believed so much on the science, you know. Uh, I'm not saying that now I'm against uh, science, but you know, it was like, for me it was, no, God cannot exist. But what happened one day, you know, I just came back home, like uh, it was d uh, during the holiday, summer holiday, and I played football in the rain, and you know, I came home and I was shivering, and uh, I took, uh, even though it was summer, I took uh, you know the blankets, or then still not, and then I took all uh, the blankets, and still I was shivering. My jaws were knocking, and then you know, even the bed was shaking, and. Uh, I was wondering, you know, what's happening to me. But later on, uh, I came to know that I had uh, malaria, and then uh, I had uh, typhoid, and then, you know, um, what's that, um, jaundice, you know, everything came at once. And uh, finally, you know, the most horrible one was the backache. 
I didn't know it was a slip disc. I don't know how I got it. And it was so unbearable. The pain was so excruciating, you know. I, I could not lie down on the bed. I cannot sit on the chair. And the only way I get comfort is, you know, standing or walking, you know, when I walk. Otherwise, it is very difficult. So, uh, usually when I am sick, I used to be very quiet. I used to be uh, the, one of the members you know, who used to be very quiet, you know. Uh, I wouldn't complain. But uh, that time, I would be shouting, I would be screaming, you know, could not, you know, uh, <clears throat> that uh, could not handle that pain. It was so unbearable. So one day, you know, I was alone. I said, God, if you are real, please take away my life. I don't want to live in this pain. And I can't imagine to live my future like this. And just, you know, when I said that, I don't know, it was like a dream or a vision, you know. But I, today, I still remember his words and that, uh, that uh, his palm, the scars with the scars. He said to me, he just appeared, you know, and he said to me, Johnson, I died for you on the cross. I won't let you die. You will be my witness. I cannot forget this. And see, uh, I asked God, you know, to take away my life, not to you know, heal me or, you know, I didn't expect that he have a power to heal me, you know, but instead I asked him to take away my life. But he said, I won't let you die. I, I died for you on the cross. You'll be my witness. And when I saw his curse, he didn't show me actually his curse. I just saw, happened to see his curse, you know, on, on his hand. I just cried and cried and cried. I forgot my pain. I just gave those things in my heart. You know, I keep uh, pondering on those words and on that uh, uh, scars. And, uh, you know, on those uh, days, you know, uh, almost every week I'll be going to hospital, uh, be admitted and come back again, again, you know, go back to hospital like that. And, but, <clears throat> you know, that scars, you know, I was, uh, as I, uh, began to ponder more and more on that scars, you know, I began to receive healing. The Bible says, by his wounds we are healed. Amen? And uh, <clears throat> Thomas, he said, unless I see and touch you know, the scars, on his hand, on his side, I wouldn't believe. Just when he said that, Jesus appeared to him and asked him, you know, Thomas, look at my hand. Look at my hand, it's so real. See, the scars is still here. This scar tells that I was there on the cross. This proves that I was there on the cross. Your scars tell or your scars uh, um, prove that you have been there. Amen? You have been there. And God healed. And uh, when he saw that scars, he said, Jesus, my Savior, my God. He surrendered. I thank God this uh, apostle, you know, uh, he came to India and his, he gave his life for India. God loves India. He came to the farthest you know, country. Uh, if you have been to Chennai or if you go to Chennai, you can go to that mount, uh, uh, St. Thomas Mount, where you know, he was uh, buried. You know? It's a very beautiful mountain. See, uh, I believe this Isaiah 49, verse 15 and 16, the 16, you no, know, uh, 
that promise was fulfilled on the cross. You know, he engraved us our name on his palm with the nails. Now every time he look at his palm, he says, you know, I died for you. I love you. This curse tells the story. This curse proves how much I love you. How much you mean to me. This is the wounds of love. Amen. Today I want to tell you God has engraved, you know, God has engraved the name of those redeemed who are saved by the blood of Jesus. He doesn't forget you. He will not forget you. He will never forget you. He always remember you. He is always with you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Amen. Amen. And those who are watching for the first time, or you know, if you haven't invited Jesus in your life, today I want to tell you, God loves you. He died on the cross for you. Today, God is saying, His word says, He has engraved your name. He has engraved your name. Why don't you choose to believe today? Why don't you invite Him into your life and experience His favor, His goodness, His mercy in your life? Amen? I just want to wind up with this testimony, uh, uh, a story, you know. Recently, I just watched a uh, 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 video uh, in that uh, Facebook, and uh, it, it was about a doctor from Singapore. Uh, in, uh, it was an interview, actually. And before he come to know the Lord, you know, actually, he was a doctor, you know. He, uh, he knows so much about science. And he also has so many questions, but you know, uh, ultimately he has to surrender all those questions and just simply jump into his love, you know. And he began to experience, you know, his peace, his joy, his goodness, his favor. So he said, you know, the earlier you come to know him, earlier you surrender your life, you know, you will enjoy all the blessings of God, what Jesus has done on the cross. He has done everything and he said the final word, it is done. I have done everything for you. Amen. Amen. So once again, I want to wind up with this. You know, Jesus loves you and he will not forget you. His scars prove that he loves you. Amen. Amen. So I believe you are blessed and um, if you are blessed, please feel free to you know, put the comments or and if you feel that this message has to be passed to even uh, your friends or your neighbors, please feel free to do, you are uh, most welcome to do. Okay, so see you again next Sunday. Until then, you know, uh, stay safe, stay home and unless or you have a very emergency, please don't go out. So I, I'll wind up with a prayer and benediction. Father in heaven, thank you so much for your promises. Your word says, Lord, that you have inscribed us, our names, on your palms. Thank you, Father, for your son, Jesus Christ, who was nailed on the cross. Thank you, Father. Thank you for every blessings. Father, go right now. I just pray for healing. People who are watching, who are sick, Lord, that you will stretch out your hand and heal them. Your word says, by the stripes of your Son, Jesus Christ, we are healed. Father, I claim this promise this healing upon them, that by the uh, stripes of your Son, Jesus Christ, that they are healed. Amen. 
Father God, also bless them, O oh Father God. Protect them, Lord God. Cover them by the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I also pray for those people, Lord, who have been working hard, O oh Father God, for our nation, Lord God. Lord, especially the doctors and the medical team, Lord God, and the uh, police departments, O oh Father God, uh, and also our um, government, Lord God. Father, give them wisdom, O oh Father God. Protect them, give them strength to fight this uh, pandemic, this COVID-19, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have mercy on us, O oh Father God. Heal our land, Lord. Hallelujah. And Father, I pray even for uh, <clears throat> the world of Father God, that you will have mercy, Lord God, that you will heal us, Lord God. Hallelujah. And people who are watching for the first time, Lord God, Lord, touch them, Lord. Saw them, your scars of Father God. Lord, save them, O oh Father God. Hallelujah. 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 Please bow down as I give the benediction. The Lord bless you and give you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And the people of God say, Amen. Amen. See you then next Sunday. I hope you are all blessed with the service. Please give us your feedback and comments. We would like to hear from you. Also, do send us your prayer requests and testimonies. And I would request you to call at least your friends and ask them how they are and pray for them. Pray for each other. Have a great week. Amen. Amen.